Hello kindergarten, today we are going to be reviewing lesson 4.4. Before we begin, make sure you have all your math materials. We will need something to write with and your math book today. For lesson 4.4, we are going to classify, count, and sort by counting. Lincoln has five crayons in three different colors. This is one way Lincoln could classify the crayons by color. Draw lines below each color to show how many of each color crayon there are. So one way to classify or sort his crayons are by color. So let's do some counting. How many red crayons are there? One, two. There are two red crayons. How many blue crayons are there? One, two. There are two blue crayons. There's an equal amount of red and blue crayons. Let's look at green. There is one green crayon. So there are more blue and red crayons than there are green crayons. How many of each color of crayons does Lincoln have? Remember, there is one green crayon, two blue, and two red. There were an equal amount of red and blue crayons. Remember, Lincoln has five crayons in different colors. You classified the crayons. Remember, we sorted. You identified the number of crayons in each category. Now sort the crayons by count. So how many of each did we have? Remember how many green crayons did we have? We had one green crayon. How many red crayons did we have? Two. We had two red crayons because remember, there were the same, the equal amount of red and blue crayons. So how, what strategies did we use? We classified, we sorted, we sorted by color, and then we counted. Kai has seven shapes to classify. He wants to know how many are in each category. Then he wants to sort the categories by count. So we're gonna start by sorting by shape and then sorting by how many of each we have. So let's do some counting. How many squares? Remember squares all have the same amount, the same sides, four same sides. Let's count. One, two, three. How many squares? Three, three squares. Let's look at circles. Circles don't have any sides. One, two. How many circles? Two. Last, how many triangles? Triangles have one, two, three sides. One, two. Two triangles. Now, which two shapes do I have the equal amounts of? I have an equal amount of circles and triangles because two and two are the same. Equal means the same. How many squares, circles, and triangles does Kai have? Remember, we counted one, two, three squares, one, two circles, and then we had the same amount of circles and triangles. So there were two circles, two triangles. Sort the shapes by count. So remember, three squares, two circles, two triangles. So if we look at the first one, two circles, two triangles, one square. That is our correct answer. 
because we have an equal amount of circles and triangles. Let's look at our next problem. Oops. Seashells. Listen to the story and classify the shells by size. Write the number of shells in each category. Draw in a chart to show the categories sorted by count. Logan has six shells of two sizes to classify. Classify members to sort. He wants to know how many shells are in each category. Then he wants to sort the categories by count. So we have how many small shells? One, two, three, four. Four small shells. How many large shells? One, two. How many large shells? Two. So first, we listened to the story. So we, ca we counted our shells. Then we classified the shells by size. There were four small and two large. We wrote the number of the shells in each category. Now we're going to draw on the chart to show the categories sorted by count. So you had four small shells and two large shells. Great job. Let's try the last one together. Listen to the story. Color each button, red, orange, or blue. Classify the buttons by color. Write the number of buttons in each category and draw on the chart to show the categories sorted by count. Amelia has eight buttons in three colors to classify. She wants to know how many buttons are in each category and then she wants to sort the categories by count. This one you can do on your own. How many red? How many orange? How many blue? That is up to you. Here is an example. If she had three red, and if you have a red crayon, you can color these in. If not, you can just mark them. She had three red, three orange, and two blue. We would have three red, three orange, and two blue. Again, this is my example. You don't have to use this one. How many does she have three of? She has three of red and she has three of orange. How many does she have two of? She has one, two. So she has the blue ones are the only ones that she has two of. That is my example, but you get to pick your own example for this math problem. Keep working hard. You are doing a great job classifying kindergarten.